22 kids from 16 women, 45,000 rands bottles of whiskey, 2 million rands wedding, how come a halo pot sane blew 56 million rands? 20 rands. That is how much Kamo Halo David Potsane currently has in his bank account. David is a former multimillionaire South Africans never knew they had. Until he appeared on the Mzansa Magic show, I blew it. After spending around 56 million rands, he had nothing. South Africans were shocked. How is it possible to blow that much money? How could there be nothing left? Kamo Halo was at the peak of his career as a boxer and marathon runner in his 20s. He had sports endorsements coming in from all over the world and all the women wanted to be with him. So much so that he's got many children, he admitted on the show. Born in Kauteng, Kamo Halo, 58, still talks about his lost fortunes in foreign currency. Some found it hard to believe he had that kind of money until he started talking about his wedding to an American advocate which was attended by dignitaries such as Margaret Thatcher. He tells Drum how his fortune came and went. I was a high roller, he tells Drum. Mr. Big Spender. He had started boxing as a way to learn self-defense after he was bullied and picked on. Then to train, he would run and so he discovered his love for long distance running. I traveled the world because of boxing. I went to places I never even knew existed never mind even dreaming of them. His long list of girlfriends includes Bridget Bryant, who sang with Phil Collins. His womanizing ways cost him that relationship, and his travels led him to the great love of his life, Ophelia, whom he went to marry in December 1992. Their wedding was in Rosebank in Johannesburg North, and the wedding rings were 45,000 rands. Thatcher and Rowan Sebastian Atkinson, Mr. Bean, were on the guest list. On the guest list, it was the who's who because I was getting married to Ophelia. She was working in the USA as an advocate. At my wedding I think I spent two, five million rands, he said on the TV show. When I lived in the UK I was exposed to these people. I even spent time at Buckingham Palace, and I was living a lavish lifestyle. When I returned to South Africa, I continued to spend the money like it was never going to run out. I could easily spend 45,000 rands in a bar in one night. I spent the money to impress my friends and the girls. Buying an 8,000 rands bottle of whiskey was never a problem. Waiters in restaurants used to fight over me because they knew I was a great tipper. And that was in the 80s. Pear-shaped. Things turned sour for Kamo Halo when he lost his South African junior middleweight title in Welcome in 2000. After failing to defend my title, I decided to retire from boxing and continue with my running. I ran my last marathon in 2010. He says he started doing funny things, like not sleeping at home, and so Ophelia left him. Together, they have two girls. We lived together in our home opposite Santun City for about six years. Last time I checked she was in Pretoria, and the next thing I heard she was back in the USA. She took the girls with her. He has 22 children from 16 women, and he recklessly spent his fortune on women and alcohol. It was hard losing my fortunes. I even considered suicide. Sometimes I cry when I think about how I squandered my wealth. It haunts me. I was very reckless. Even with women, I was more than a heartbreaker because I really charmed the ladies. When things were spiraling out of control for him, he became addicted to alcohol and he was not drinking the expensive alcohol he had become accustomed to. He had been reduced to beer. It was hard to accept that I had lost everything. I started drinking every day. Regrets? His parents warned him about his behavior. They told me, but I did not listen to them. I regret not listening to my parents. I now realize that in life if there are people who are still warning you or stopping you from doing something, it means that they still care about you. Since his episode aired on TV, people have been coming to him saying they are glad they saw his life story. Parents are saying my life can now be a lesson to their children.
I think my life is going to be a clear lesson. Thanks for watching this video, and remember to subscribe for more explosive news.